Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of the Muni, and I am sitting here with someone who, if you've been to the Muni in the last... 900 years. 900 <laughs> years. Uh, a man who needs no introduction, but a um, uh, man for anybody who works in the theater, it is an honor to be with and sit with. And this is Ken Page, who uh, this season is going to be in our production of Nonsense Muni Style yeah. and playing Doc in West Side Story. What has being a part of Muni for you? Oh, lo, these many years. <laughs> but Loads. what has that been for you in terms of a person, an actor, a professional? It's been amazing, really and truly, because I started here. I got my equity card here at 18. So never mind coming back at 92 or whatever it was. I mean, it goes back that far for me. So my memories are uh, everything was in front of me. <clears throat> you know, so to have that as a beginning, to come back in 92 when I was still working in New York a lot and so forth and started doing things here, and to still be here, thanks to you, at this point, <laughs> it really has been sort of a backdrop to my entire career. So it's not one of those places you think, oh, it's cute, it's fun. It's really been the backdrop of my entire career, and it's been very good to me on every level all the way back to the beginning. So for me, it's, it's uh, I think I like to call it a theatrical home, because no matter where I go or what I do, the Muni always comes up in some way or other. You know, where'd you start? The Muni. Well, where'd you do that role? The Muni. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, uh, with the, the sort of projection you brought to, the, to it, it has a stronger connection to New York. So a lot of people there are now very aware. And every now and again, which I have to admit makes me feel pretty good, they say, but you're like, like Muni person. <laughs> I said, that is right. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. Well, I am. Well, you know, what, what 20 years, you earn it, yeah. What's so fascinating last year watching it, um, in both Dreamgirls and Aladdin, um, fascinating to watch you manage because you carry something extra when you walk on. I mean, you get entrance applause mm. because that's how strong the relationship of the audience you is to you. You still walk. That's so <laughs> great. <laughs> but you carry that and own it, and yet you find a way to um, be the character and yet honor what they're giving you. It was interesting watching because in Marty, I noticed you quickly shut him down. Mm -hmm. We're here. Yeah. And Aladdin, which was sort of a looser structure we had all around, right. you kind of <laughs> took the little bath. Your whole walk down two steps. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, 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 bad, but, but, you were, but you knew you were in musical yeah. comedy land. Yeah. You knew what you were doing here. And, and it was fascinating to watch you marshal that relationship. Well, you know, they want to do it. It's something I learned from people early on when I was in the wings watching other people get that, mm -hmm. not only here but in New York as well. And you have to allow them. I think I learned it very, very well with Eartha Kitt. I was doing Wizard of Oz with her, and she was playing the Wicked Witch of the West, and she'd paddle out on the stage. She'd do the kickstand, and she'd put her foot down, and she'd just turn and look at the audience, and they'd go, oh, my God, and they'd applaud. And she'd give them a full breath, and then she'd go on. Now, you know, that was a little bit <laughs> to, the, to the extreme. But at the same time, I realized that people want to do it, so you let them do it. And sometime when you know, like Dreamgirls, the cowbell goes and it's called Go, you don't stop. I don't care who walks out there, even Jennifer Holliday. It has to keep going because otherwise the show hiccups, you know. And I thought um, even if they wanted to applaud, it wasn't appropriate. You know I'm here. This is it. Let's keep moving because right. that's part of the show, you know.